Mr. Neeson, um, what was it like recording the role of Aslan in the film? It was uh, it was very interesting, and it was also a little frustrating because I I wasn't uh, on location mm -hmm. with the kids. Right. I only really got to meet them at these premieres or press junkets, you know. Mm -hmm. But I did work very closely with Andrew Adamson, the director of the first two films. Mm -hmm. Michael Lapp did, as you know, did the third. And um, they showed me paintings of computer mock-ups of what this Aslan was was going to was going to be like, you know. So we played around with various vocal ranges that Andrew was happy with. We say, okay, that's that that's that vocal range is what we need for for the lion. But we we, we played we played a lot, you know. Okay. Okay. Do your kids watch them? They do, yes. Uh, are, are, they're big fans. Mm. Uh, my eldest boy, in fact, he turned me on to the novels. <laughs> I hadn't read them as a kid, which I'm ashamed about because C.S. Lewis, is the author of the books, is from Belfast in the north of Ireland, which is mm. very close to where I was brought up. Okay. And I, I wasn't aware of them at all mm. as a kid. I was more interested in Laurel and Hardy and yeah. B movie westerns and right. matinees on Saturdays, you know. <laughs> um, and your career has it impacted it at all doing the Narnia films or? Um, I I'm not aware of the impact. Um, um, I I enjoy doing them. I also I do quite a number of uh, documentaries, voiceover work, mm -hmm. back back in the states which I'm particularly proud of. I, I love doing that sort of work. You know? yeah. And I did radio plays a lot when I was living here in London in the early 80s. I did quite a number of hmm. BBC radio work. They led to like Ponyo or would you do any more animation or anything? Uh, I would. Ponyo I was wrong for, mm. I have to say. My voice okay. wasn't right for that character. <laughs> but it was, it was thrilling to do it. But, but mm -hmm. now that I see the movie, it's like, it's like no. My voice isn't right for that thin guy, that mm -hmm. creation. It just just didn't sit well with me at all. They should have got some other actor to do it. But but still, I was glad I was glad to do it. <laughs> but right. uh, if I was looking at it now, I'd have to say I would recast that voice. <laughs> I wasn't right for it. Gotcha. <laughs> um, now you've you've worked with people like Steven Spielberg and George Lucas in the past. Um, yeah. If they offered you a role in Indiana Jones Five, would you take it? Oh sure, yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> would. That'd be great. As, um, as long as Harrison was was going to do it, yeah. You know? Right, right, and I'm sure that he will. Um, what's been your favorite project that you've worked on? Uh, I have to say it's Michael Collins. It's still mm. my my favorite because he was a fellow Irishman and he was a very controversial mm. figure and still is actually, but he was one of the founding fathers of the modern Irish Republic. Mm -hmm. And uh, it took us 12 years to get the financing together to tell that story. Um, so that is a particular favorite. Schindler's List, of course, is. Right. There's, there's two or three others, but, but Michael Collins is still my... Absolute. My one, you know. Nice. Any chances of a sequel to the A-Team? Uh, we're hoping, okay. yeah. I was talking to the head of the studio the other night, and obviously they'd have to do their their dollar figures and mm -hmm. crunches and see how it's... The DVD's coming out, I think, in a couple of weeks' time. Right. We'll see how that sells in these very troubled fiscal times that mm -hmm. we're going through. But but certainly Bradley and Charlton and Rampage and myself, we're all up for doing a sequel, yeah, if it, if it, if it can happen, you know? Mm -hmm. Any final thoughts? Um... Well, I've got a movie coming out in uh, February of next year, mm -hmm. produced by Jewel Silver. Uh, it's called Unknown, with uh, January Jones and uh, Diane Kruger. Mm -hmm. So it was a very good thriller. I just saw it the other night. Excellent. Should I say it myself? It's actually a really cool, cool movie. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, man. Thank yep. you.